First thing, Nola was pretty good. I think he struck out nine. He got hurt with his secondary stuff. Um, the home run by Myers was the uh, – he just hung that pitch. It wasn't a good pitch. Other than that, he pitched well enough to win. Uh, Freddie made some great plays, real acrobatic plays out there. Borges made a nice running catch. Herrera made a nice catch against the wall. Uh, defense really didn't hurt us. Um, had chances to, to win. You know, how we hit that line drive to the first baseman. That could have led to a bigger inning or a big inning. Um, and we just didn't put enough r runs across the board. Uh, so we got pretty good pitching. Hinojosa did a good job. Uh, Russell got through it. And uh, those were the positives. The negative was that we lost the game. But, w you know, from the start of the season, we're in every game we played uh, except for one. So I'm pretty pleased with that at this point. Satisfied or not satisfied with the infield fly rule explanation? Let's put it this way. I didn't like the call. But we got to live with it and uh, just get past it. So we had opportunities after that. Uh, that was a big play, obviously. And although, I d like I said, I didn't like the call, but uh, it's their judgment. How was the call explained to you? He just explained to me that uh, in the in the umpire's uh, judgment, he was he was under the ball. And as I said, I didn't agree, but it is what it is. Did you, did you think you've said that you will pinch hit for Ryan Howard in certain situations when a lefty comes in? Did you think about letting him hit home opener or big crowd? But you, you, you've stuck to that strategy. Is that what you were thinking there? Well, I said I was going to do it, and I did it. I thought that was a big part of the game. And uh, uh, with the left hander, an opportunity with bases loaded and nobody out for rough, I thought it was the perfect time to do it, blow the game wide open. Did you consider pinch hitting for rough in the ninth inning and bunting? didn't consider it. I'm looking for the long ball. I'll, t I'll take a home run. Um, you know, our offense hasn't been the greatest, and uh, I got a guy who has a chance to hit a home run. I'm going to I'm gonna take it. Ruff swung out. Was that a good pitch to hit the pitch in the sixth inning? Ruff? I don't know. You know, I'm not going to criticize a guy for being aggressive. Is there anything Herrera should do at that point? I mean, or is he kind of stuck in no man's land once that? You're kind of stuck, you know. Uh, it's a it's a tough call because normally that you wouldn't see that call. At least I haven't seen it, you know, with the ball that far out, out in, into the outfield. But you know, I can't criti be too critical of that because it's it was an unusual play. What did you, what did you think of the energy level just in the ballpark? It was great. We had a nice crowd. Uh, I would have liked the one for the fans. That showed up, and it, uh, you know, you always want to win those games. We were we were in striking distance the whole game, and came back, and uh, just fell short. Nola hasn't walked anyone yet this season. What would you credit um, to his success in, in preventing walks? He's just got his mechanics uh, are conducive to throwing strikes. He's just a strike thrower, and uh, you know, I think sometimes uh, Cliff Lee remind, reminds me of Cliff Lee. Every once in a while, he. You'd like him to get a little bit wild, effectively wild, but he pounds the strike zone. There's a lot of called strikes when, when Nola pitches, and it's to his credit because he, he paints the corners. Like I said, uh, his fastball didn't hurt him today. Uh, his, his, his secondary pitches hurt him. Did he, did he play at home in that squeeze? It, it looked like it was. He may know. have. I wasn't sure. You know, I, I don't have uh, the, you know, the luxury of seeing a replay. I, I thought that he might, but. Uh, I guess he determined he didn't have a play. He's a poised kid. I mean, it's not his first time around now, but this is a different situation, home opener. Were you pleased with just the way he went about it and presented himself out there? Yes, because I, I expected him to be poised because that's the way he showed up to the big leagues last year. Uh, you know, he's he's a special individual that he uh, he's very confident in his ability and, he, and he's uh, he knows what he has to do and he's a strike thrower. So I, I expected nothing else. How much have you seen Herrera grow as a center fielder? Well, since uh, last year, early in the year, he looked a little shaky, but he worked so hard at it uh, on a daily basis for 162 games that uh, he may turn himself into a pretty solid center fielder. So uh, it, it's it's nice to see. He came up with that 0-2 big hit for us. You know, he's he's got his warts like everybody else, but he's he's still a heck of a good player. 
I know you're limited in your options, but the lead off spot, uh, could you go back to maybe, are you thinking about maybe going back to Cesar or, or Dougal? Or what, what? I, look, I look at it every day and try to find a, a good combination, you know, and uh, it's just a, a matter of coming up with some kind of a, of a, a lineup that I feel comfortable with every day. Is that Sammy's call to hold Herrera up on that triple, or is that, is that Herrera? No, I mean, and I told Cesar, I said, look at Cesar, you, uh, whenever you're held up at any base or you stop at any base, you always have to be ready and follow the ball to see what might happen. Look for something to happen. You know, it's like when you, when you ask the, the players to take a hard turn around first, because if the guy bobbles the ball, you, you might be able to go to second base, that type of thing. So I just reminded him uh, never to just shut it down, to always look for an overthrow or a, a missed cutoff or a, a booted ball. You talked before the game about this being a special day for you. Um, anything before the game, at the, the opening ceremony that stands out to you? No, you know what, uh, Leslie, it, it's, I, I've been – through a lot of opening days in 48 years, and, and they're all the same. They're all exciting. I was really happy about uh, today. I'm just real um, proud of the fact that I'm the Philadelphia Phillies manager. Uh, that, I think that says it all. Do you say? I mean, do you say anything to them before the home opener? Is that is that any different than opening day? No, I choose not to. I just, you know, it's I, we take it a game at a time, and I don't want to. I don't want to put added pressure on anybody or even hint at it because it, they all have a job to do. They know what, the, what they're supposed to do. And I feel like the, the less I talk about it, the, the better off we are.